Everyone around the world loves a cup of hot tea, and so do we. But there's a problem, the electric kettle. Everyone always overfills it, heating excess water and wasting energy. Research proves that one day of extra energy used from overfilling electric kettles is enough to light all the street lights in England for a night. With Mito, we set out to solve this problem. Mito only heats as much water as you need in the vessel of your choice. Simply fill your cup with water, place it onto the induction base, and immerse the rod in the liquid. The base then heats the disc of the rod, which heats the liquid surrounding it, giving you the exact amount of hot water you wanted. We focused on a simple and elegant design that is intuitive to use. Mito adjusts to your needs. You can heat milk for a hot chocolate, or warm up the food for your baby. Are you having guests over? No problem. Just prepare an entire tea kettle for everyone to share. Mito started as a graduation project, and now, a year and a half later, we have our working prototype. We have been working endlessly on the design and the user experience and the electronics to revolutionize how the liquids will be heated in the future. Over the course of the last few months, we won multiple innovation and design awards, and thousands of people reached out to us asking for Mito. In 2007, Steve Jobs said that this was the best input device. That was 2007. This is 2015. In 2015, we love our touchscreens. We take them everywhere we go. And why wouldn't we? They're light, they're powerful, and they're gorgeous. But they're not a perfect input device. To fully express ourselves, we need better precision and more space. This is free and it takes you way beyond the screen. With free, you can write or draw on nearly any surface, and your words or pictures will appear on your screen instantly. Free brings us back to a more direct interaction with the world around us, in part by freeing us to use one of our most personal skills, handwriting. Free's sophisticated optical tracking engine can trace anyone's handwriting on nearly any surface to an incredible level of accuracy. There has never been anything like it. <coughs> Give us a minute, Mitch. Our Otium sensor includes a miniature laser, which sends a collimated beam to the surface. Reflections from the surface combine with internal reflections to give us a motion signals. In fact, we invented the world's smallest three-dimensional laser interferometer. That is truly amazing. But let me take it from here. Free is all about minimizing whatever stands in the way of your creative energy. It's got a mini touch display for notifications, lets you reply instantly, and even doubles as a headset to take phone calls. Hi, Michael. Write yourself a note the second you think of it. Jot down a phone number or doodle your next brainchild. Your thoughts and ideas are captured instantly on your device. Free lets you use all of your screen, turning your mobile phone into an incredibly comfortable and efficient mobile creative station. And best of all, Free is personal. So personal, it can even use your handwriting as a highly sophisticated form of biometric identification. Making it much harder for someone to steal your identity. Free is a minimal and classic design with a unique ergonomic shape so that the touch display naturally faces you and you can simply select different functions. We also have an open platform so developers can create exciting new applications. Together, we can change the way we interact with the digital world for everyone. We put thousands of hours developing our motion tracking engine and now we need your support to build the coolest mobile input device. Help us make free a reality by backing us on Kickstarter. It's quick, it's convenient, it's familiar and personal. It's free. If you're like me, your morning looks a lot like this. Your peaceful rest comes to an abrupt end thanks to the blare of an alarm clock. 
So why do we do this to ourselves? If modern technology can solve so many problems, why do we still wake up the same way we did 30 years ago? I'd like to introduce you to Wakey. Wakey lives on your bedroom wall. In the morning, Wakey can sense where you are and gently rouse you from sleep with a focused ray of light that feels like a sunrise, followed by a focused beam of sound. So you can start your day peacefully while others continue resting. It's how 21st century humans are supposed to wake up. Wakey works by sensing your body heat. And instead of using regular speakers that wake up everyone, Wakey uses an advanced speaker that works like a spotlight for sound. And it works even if you're snuggled closely to someone else. Wakey installs in about a minute and only needs a recharge a few times per year. The smartphone app is easy to use, and it still has a snooze feature. Wakey does not use cameras or anything that could be hijacked to violate your privacy. So keep on rocking those ridiculous pajamas. We didn't want to create just another sleep tracker or novelty alarm clock. We wanted to wipe the slate clean what was the best experience that we could bring to somebody as they start their day? That's what we think we've built with Wakey. So by mounting to the wall above your bed, Wakey can make use of several new technologies that wouldn't be possible to use if it was placed anywhere else in your bedroom. And one of those is a highly accurate sensor that allows Wakey to locate you in bed without using any cameras. So the speaker is a little bit of a different type than what might be in your iPhone. It focuses sound into a very narrow beam. which is really the heart of the Wakey system. Wakey started about a year ago as an idea scribbled on the back of a napkin, and today it is working technology. This is Chip, the world's first $9 computer. Connect over composite, VGA, or HDMI. Chip does computer things. Save your documents to Chip's onboard storage. Surf the web over Wi-Fi. Play games with a Bluetooth controller. But wait, there's more. This is Pocket Chip. It makes Chip portable. Take Chip, put it into Pocket Chip, and you can use Chip anywhere. You might have noticed, Chip looks a little different than every other computer. Because we built Chip to fit into your projects. And we're so excited to see what you can do with a $9 computer. Kickstarter, we need your help. To make chip for $9, we need to buy components in extremely large quantities. Help us make the $9 computer a reality and back chip on Kickstarter today. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Go! <laughs> this is Makey Makey Go, the first invention kit ever that goes everywhere with you. It's unbelievably easy to use. Clip, plug, play. The computer just thinks you are touching the keyboard or the mouse. Want more buttons? Plug in as many as you want. Makey Makey Go works with thousands of household objects. Use it with any software in the world. Play YouTube videos, make phone calls, like things on Facebook, add things to your cart,
or play video games. Hey, I'm Jay. I spent the last 10 years studying invention kits at MIT. Now, I run Joy Labs. We believe we can all invent the world together. Let's invent! Invent. 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 Invent everywhere. Invent now.